Popeye the Sailor Man, Rivera, you got a fight coming up on this Saturday, Worcester the Palladium, on the oh, Rivera card. I'm excited for you again. What is going on? Because you seem to be fighting in all the main events. Mm -hmm. The last main event that you fought, right? You fought previous to that, another main event. And now you're fighting on another main event. What's your secret weapon tool that you keep fighting as the main event? What do you think it is? I just feel like, you know, doing something that I love to do, it shows. You know, I'm in the ring giving it all I got. I train hard. So, you know, people really want to see that in the ring. And when I go out there and give it all I got, they, they say like, wow, that deserves a main event. So when I showed that for my first three fights, they were like, okay, let's get this guy on the main event card. Especially, I have a huge following, so it helps, you know, the crowd's roaring. It just makes for a great show. People love you. I heard they've actually asked, is Richie going to be on the card? You know, what's going on with you? Mm -hmm. Is it your fans from your amateur days, or have you met them along the ways? Or, I mean, where would you get your fan base from? Well, it's a little bit of everything. You know, um, I have been boxing as an amateur for a long time, so that was um, a way to build a fan base. Uh, I'd be teaching classes at the gym and you know I get a, a good amount of people in class and they all tend to go and you know I also do a lot of volunteer work on the community I go to church and fans come from you know near and far so I'm, I'm blessed to have the, the type of following that I do. Let's face it Kevin Cobbs you got a tough fight he hasn't been in the ring for a while but he said he's been training right along but how do you feel about this matchup because on record, it looks a little tough for you. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Well, I, I'm really excited about the whole fight. Um, I, I never asked or expected an easy fight. I never wanted to get it the easy way. You know, everything in this sport, it needs to be earned. So uh, Kevin Cobbs is, is, to me, the ideal opponent to, to show that I'm a, reckon to be, uh, a force to be reckoned with. And uh, I'm going to just go out there and... and and do what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. Would you like for it to go the distance? How many rounds is it? Is it? Uh, it's an eight-round bout. A, this is okay. So you are now fighting eight rounds. Uh -huh. Have you fought six yet? I fought six rounds, but they haven't gone six. All right. So this is definitely a step up for you. Mm -hmm. Are you conditioned? Is your body 100% for good condition Most for the yeah. eight rounds? 100%. You're doing your road work. You're sparring. Mm -hmm. How many rounds you're typically sparring? Sparring around nine rounds at a time. You know, because we we fight eight, so we train for eight. We push another round. Uh, I've been getting great spar sparring Elvis Figueroa with uh, Charles Foster and other great fighters in the game, and, and you know I'm blessed to to be out there, and you know I'm I'm ready to push the distance, eight rounds, ten, twelve, whatever it is, you know, I'm strong to the finish. What do you know about Cobbs? What What are you gonna pick, piece him apart, pick him apart about? Uh, well, I, I know who he's beaten. I know who he's lost to. Uh, I know that he hasn't had the longest amateur career or, you know, I I know a lot of his pros and his cons, but I, I try not to focus on his pros. So um, I'm just going to go out there and try to, you know, outbox him. Wonderful. This is going to be fans. This is going to be the fight. <laughs> this is, I'm looking forward to this fight and of course everyone else. And on the undercard, which is interesting enough, you have four other pro boxers from the That's gym. Right. Everyone's last name is Rivera. <laughs> close ex to it. Close to it, except for one, <laughs> uh -huh. which is Paul, mm -hmm. who's a Muay Thai fighter. Yep. And he's fighting Ray Grzeski mm -hmm. out of uh, old school, yep. who just moved their gym to Enfield, so Connecticut. Mm -hmm. Now you sparred with Ray, mm -hmm. and I'm sure you sparred with Paul. Yes, I have. What's your thoughts on that matchup? Now, this is the first time, just so the, the fans know, this is the first time Paul is fighting in a boxing ring. He's a Muay Thai fighter. Yeah. What's your thoughts? Well, I believe that's going to be a very exciting fight. You know, Paul comes from a huge combat background, and uh, Ray's been in the, the game for a while now, and Ray has, you know, a ton of wins, and, you know, Paul's coming in there trying to show out. Uh, I sparred with both of the guys. They both have... Um, real good things to their fight, you know, but, uh, you know, I, I don't want to give too much, you know, um, but I, I will tell you that it will be a fight that you don't want to miss. 
Awesome. This is this sounds like this card is exciting. Oh yeah, definitely. I'm looking forward. You still have tickets that you're selling? Oh yeah, we have tickets. You know, Tony's selling them. We have them here at the Hartford Boxing Center. I have them. You know, so they're everywhere. You bringing your spinach? Always. Nice. T say something to your fans, because I know you have. Have you ever been a DJ? Because you got that gift that just appeals to the crowds. <laughs> no, nah, never, never. But uh, I enjoy doing what I do, and that's why I feel a lot of these things just flow out. But to all my fans, I'm working hard. I'm here to support. You know, I'm here to put our community in a, uh, on the map. And, you know, Popeye the Sailor Mayor of Air, strong to the finish, because we eat that spinach February 10th. Be there. We're going to give you a good show. Poo-poo. I love it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.